Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, and today I figured that we should make a video about details in CSGO and uh, what resolution of detail that you want to focus on depending on your skill level. Uh, so the main reason for why I want to make this video is because, to me at least, from my perspective, it seems like a lot of people out there, you're just not necessarily focusing enough on details as a subject on its own. And what I'm alluding to here is that, let's say that you are not incredibly good at CS, maybe you're at the DMG rank or below, or maybe Lem or below, uh, you're playing CS and like there's literally a lot of stuff that you still have to learn in which if you're just conscious about what is going down with yourself in this avenue you will with ease be able to as you invest more time uh, you, or maybe tune your equipment better in some scenarios as well uh, playing with incredible high sensitivity in CSGO is never a good thing um, you'll be able to eventually literally be able to you know just with ease get better uh, let's say that you're rotating really badly or poorly and thus you don't get the positions that you should have in a match in which if you just got those you would be able to do that stuff properly as long as you just in in some kind of way actually practice these, these things or uh, is uh, self-critical enough or for example experience enough pro examples to be able to even uh, to begin with craft uh, a very nice contrast of again uh, a concept in your head of how you should do these kind of things what you will sit down with then is a really good uh, example of the detail that you want to fix because it's the factor that sucks the most of your arsenal of skill which is incredibly important at any level in CSGO but it's especially at the lower ones if you just want to have fun and actually get better. In which it also become more vague, sadly. Um, general stuff that you want to get better at if you're not that good at CSGO will be to get good movement, get our right aim, and that, this is aside from being able to do, uh, do the most and get the most out of your equipment, naturally. Um, and from there on out, also having... Um, proper callouts, having good communication, uh, being able to, uh, you know, uh, put out dense communication, and that is also aside from just being able to play the game to a decent degree, maybe warming up and such things. All of these things actually become rather basic when you get to a decent level, because as you keep on exercising these kind of things, they become a part of your form as a player. Your brain literally don't need to uh, focus on how to move, you know, or how to shoot. Like, these things, you just, you, you just do them in the realm of the game itself, and thus, you can focus on all the nuances, which is where this video kind of splits over to the more higher skill level uh, aspect of how to play CS, you know? Because uh, the higher you get, the more nuance you need to focus on in order to be able to get even better. In my scenario and perspective, for example, I'm all I'm actually thinking about maybe lowering my sensitivity because it could increase my accuracy because it's actually still uh, rather high, in which you can probably just ask in the comment section if you're interested in the actual sense. But the point is that because of how I'm constantly focusing on what might be weaker links within myself and being incredibly self-critical in this aspect, I'm constantly trying to, because of this, like, b becoming better. Because if I find out what I'm th the most sucky at, essentially, I can kill that stuff and then I can move over to the next thing because, you know, maybe something else might be uh, equally as sucky. But then again, it requires a lot of just focus in general in order to be able to dissect such things. And th this is aside from watching demo files or spectating your teammates and see what they're doing, what is good, what is bad. Uh, also aside from watching a lot of YouTube videos naturally, even though, again, I almost would urge people to literally watch your lowlights and your highlights more and try and remember exactly the context of what happened and what kind of key uh, point or key detail per se that uh, literally went wrong or maybe made a certain specific play not work out. It could be anything as simple as an angle that you didn't take properly or maybe you made a completely wrong play because it was just wrong. Even though again having a reference is always incredibly important because without a contrast or an, a reference rather you won't even know what is right which is why I always kind of sort of admire people that are at the top level of Counter-Strike in general it's just because they are grinding at the highest of level of theories uh, be behind, you know, how to play Counter-Strike. What opponents are they going to face? What would work? What would not work? From a strategic point as well as a technical point. Even though, again, Counter-Strike skill ceiling isn't the highest uh, it has ever been and I would personally love it to be way higher. So the general theme that you could take from a higher level here will be that um, yeah, not only do you need to focus but you need to be incredibly self-critical in which don't be scared about being self critical, alright? If somebody thinks that you suck at something, don't be negative about it, alright? As long as you just know that eventually you're going to spend the time in order to be able to get better at that, or if something that the older guy is not, uh, you know, paying attention towards, maybe and maybe one key detail, well, that is on him, at least, because, you know, at least you're focusing on getting better at the game, contrary to just being an asshole, in which, um, that is also another thing about what uh, you should focus on, in which uh, focus in general, if I didn't mention, that is also incredibly important. L lucky for you and me, though, uh, there's YouTubers out there that uh, spend a lot of time on 
making videos of all of these aspects in which is why you should probably take a look at a lot of the videos that I've uh, put out there because I'm covering most of these kind of things and while I yet have a lot of other aspects of this kind of stuff uh, to go through uh, yeah it, probably a decent reference as I keep on getting better at the game myself uh, in towards getting better at the game in which uh, here are two related videos that you can take a look at if you want to get better at CSGO so hopefully this video gave you people a couple of general nice pointers thanks for watching thanks for the patreon support we'll see whether or not I'm gonna become a professional hobo that will be fun no no yeah I'm joking but anyways you get the point thanks for watching have a nice day and don't get peace to fight when you play